Hi, in this video, we're going to graph this function. We have f of t equals t squared minus 6t. We're also going to find the domain and the range. Let's just go ahead and jump into its solution. Let's start by finding the y-intercept. To find any intercept, you set the other one equal to zero. So to find the y-intercept, in this case, you set t equal to zero. Be zero squared minus six times zero, so you get zero. So the y-intercept is zero, zero. Let's find the x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, you set the other variable equal to zero, which is y in this case, right? y is equal to this. So you set the whole thing equal to zero always to find the x, or not a t-intercept. It's not the x-intercept, it's the t-intercept. Whoops, I'm glad I caught it, right? Because there's no x, it's t. <laughs> so to find the t-intercept, you set the entire thing equal to zero. You can factor this. So now you get t equals zero. t minus six equals zero, so t equals six. So these are going to be your t-intercepts. This is a parabola. It opens up because there's a positive number here. There's a one. We just need the vertex. Recall the formula for the vertex of a parabola is negative b over 2a, comma f of negative b over 2a. So this is for something that looks like this, a t squared plus b t plus c. So identifying a and b from this particular parabola we see that a is 1 and b is negative 6. So this, which is t, is going to be the following. It's going to be negative negative 6, so 6 over 2 times 1, so 3. This is actually called the axis of symmetry. Now we take this and plug it back into the function to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. So plugging it back in here, will give us three squared minus six times three. It's nine minus 18, it's negative nine. So our vertex is gonna be three negative nine. Now we're gonna put everything together and graph it. But first, I'm just gonna recap what we did. We started by finding the intercepts. To find the y-intercept, you set t equal to zero. We got zero, zero. To find the t-intercept, you take the whole thing equal to zero. So you got zero and six. To find the vertex, we use this formula. We identify a and b, a is negative one, b is six. Compute negative b over two a. Take the result, plug it into the original function that gives you the y value of the vertex. Let's draw our graph and just a rough sketch here. This is the t-axis, this is the y-axis. So let's see what we have here. Um, so we know it crosses at zero and we know it crosses at six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then here's three, and then here's negative nine. And basically it's gonna do something like this. It's a parabola. It's a pretty bad picture, but that's the idea. I'm writing sideways because of um, the camera, so it's a little bit harder to, to draw graphs with this, with this particular setup. But yeah, it's a parabola. And then um, the range is all the y values. So the smallest y value is negative nine. And there's a dot, so you include it. So the range would be negative nine to infinity because it goes up forever. The domain is all the t values that lead to y values. I can pick any t value and I'm gonna get a y value, even over here, right? Because this goes up forever. So the domain is gonna be all real numbers. So negative infinity to infinity. You can also get the domain by looking at the original function. Let me show you. If you just look here and you ask yourself, uh, what can't I plug in? Nothing, you can plug in anything, right? There's no fractions, there's no square roots. So anything goes, so the domain is all real numbers. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.